does what she wants and she looks cool doing it. Yes. Dermatologists really are seeing more young women with hair loss, and it's not just in your head. The past few years, dermatologists have documented a spike in telogen effluvium, a temporary shedding triggered by sudden shock to your body, like illness and stress. I've definitely been seeing this a lot more in my clinic. Normally, about 10% of hairs are in the shedding phase, but with telogen effluvium, that can jump up to 30 to 40%. Some triggers include COVID, emotional stress, poor sleep, big hormonal shifts like stopping birth control, and nutrient deficiencies like low iron or vitamin D. Weight loss meds like Ozempic are also triggering telogen effluvium. I can link to that video below. It feels more common now. It's not just perception. Clinics are reporting more cases, especially in women in their 20s and 30s, me included. At the same time, social media has made hair loss more visible. People are openly posting about it, talking about it, which is great, but it also adds to the sense that it's everywhere. The good news is that most telogen effluvium cases are reversible once the trigger resolves. But if shedding continues past six to eight months, if you're seeing widening of your part or circular bald spots or having a lot of scalp symptoms like soreness or redness or itching, it is time to see a dermatologist so we can get to the root cause of your hair loss.